so we're back at the 4x4 and in this tutorial we're gonna build the edges so in the 3x3 after this step the cube will look exactly like this cube except this cube will be scrambled so here let's look for our first edge piece that is unsolved let's just pick this one so we're gonna hold it on the right side here now we need to look for the next piece that joins up here so here it is so we want it to be on the exact same side so I'm just gonna move this up now we see that these two pieces are on the same side and we're gonna do an algorithm to pair them up so then one of these pieces are going to go in this spot or this piece will go into this spot so this is actually not a case we want because we want the pieces to be diagonal like this so one piece is here one piece is here we didn't get that so we need to do a swapping algorithm and that swapping algorithm goes like this you move the two bottom layers and then you go up side back down and inside then we move the whole cube to the right side we go with the left side up side and then back down and then we move back to the start to the side we started with and then we just redo that bottom move now you can see that paired up this edge so now let's just look for the next piece we're gonna do all the white first and then we're gonna do all the yellow so here we have a piece so this piece is already on the exact same side this is the white and orange and here's the white and orange so here they're diagonal and this is what we want because it's way easier and it's not really an algorithm it's just logic so here if we move one of these bars and we try to match it up so now we got this but we destroyed our centers so we're gonna move this into the top layer and then we're gonna move this side up that way and we're gonna bring this back down and as you can see we replaced this edge this not finished edge with this not finished with this finished edge so then when we just redo the middle side that we have all the centers and we made this edge now let's look for the next one here it is this is the white and red so the white and red piece is over here so that's way over there so I'm just gonna bring it so it's on the same side now it's on the same side so we have the easy case again we make sh first we need to make sure that we have an unsolved edge at the front so then when we move this to the side so now that they're paired up we go up we replace it with the unfinished edge and we bring it back down then we redo the middle moves well now we got all the white edges finished because this edge was already done when we started let's go to the yellow now so here is our first yellow piece this is the yellow and blue now the yellow and blue piece is where is it oh it's already here it's on the already on the correct side so make sure there's an unfinished piece on the front side then we do the slice move that pairs it up we bring the side up swap it with this piece and then we bring it back down and then we redo that slice we look for our next piece here it is it's the yellow and red the yellow and red is over here so I'm just gonna bring it in so it's on the on the same side here we see that the pieces are right opposite each other they're not diagonal so here we're just gonna do the algorithm we're gonna bring this bottom side do the four moves 
We did it on the very first one. Then we move the whole cube to the right side. And we do up, right side, and then down again. We move it to the side we were facing him a second ago. And then we redo the bottom move. And that paired up the yellow and red edge. Here we have our next edge. That is the yellow and orange. Now the yellow and orange base is over here. We can bring it up. Now that now they're diagonal. So we make sure there's an unfinished edge at the front. There isn't. But there is over here. So we're going to bring it. So now it's on the front. We do the slicing move. Then we go up. We replace it with this edge. And then we bring it back down. And then we redo that slice move. Here's our next piece. That is the yellow and green. The yellow and green is already on the same side. And here we just have to do this, the algorithm again. Because they're like this. They're not like this. So we move the bottom side. And then we do up, side, down, and then back. We move the cube to the right. We go up, side, and down. We move the cube back to the front side, and we redo that D move, the bottom move. And that paired up the edge. So here now, we only have four edges left. And that are the edges that are the four colors, green, orange, red, and blue. So here, we're just going to carry on as normal. So now we're just going to pick this edge, that is the orange and green. The orange and green edge is over here. We bring it down so it's on the same side. Now they're like this. They're not diagonal. So we do the algorithm. We move the downside, and then we go up, side, down, and back. Then we move the cube to the right, we go up, side, and down. Then we move the cube back to the front side, and we redo that D move. And that paired up this edge. Now we have last three edges. So. At this point, you might get that one of these edges is already solved, and you have only two edges to swap, but well, you can't figure out why. How? So, I'm going to get to that when we finish the next edge. So here, I'm going to bring this edge here, so that they're like this. We just realized they are good, as we wanted. We keep this edge over here on the front. So then when we do the slicing move, we go up, replace it with this edge, and then back down, and we redo the slicing move. Now, you see, that just solved all of our edges. But, that might not have happened. It might have happened that you got this. You look at the cube, and you see that the pieces are opposite each other, like this. So here, I, uh, if you haven't already realized that the algorithm we were doing earlier, the one that we started with the D, then we did four moves, we switched the cube, did three moves, switched back, redid the down move, then, if we just do that algorithm, and we make sure that this piece, they're like opposite, right opposite each other, because you might get a case that they're like this. I'll show you that case after this one. We move this, then we do those four moves, we turn the cube, do those three moves that we did and then turn the cube back and we redid that move now that algorithm 
solve the last two edges for us. But let's say we got this. But we look at the, our last two and we realized, but they're not opposite each other. They are diagonal across. So here, you just think about it. What if I did the slicing move? That paired that up. But if we look, oh no, we don't have any edges to swap it with. Because the edge is over here, the one we're using. So here, we're going to have to do an algorithm. And it's very, it's, I, I'll just say, exact same to the one we did a few seconds ago. Except without the D move. Because if we do the algorithm that goes up, side, down, side, turn the cube, up, side, down, turn the cube, then we realized, then the pieces are opposite each other, like we want them to be. We can do that algorithm, and that will solve all the edges. And as you can see, now it's exact same as a 3x3. Three three. We have a corner, edge, corner, corner, edge, corner, centerpiece. So, just going on, we see, now we just solve it like three by three. So, we're going to go, if, so you, uh, you, if you've already watched my three by three tutorial, you'll see, now we just need to make the daisy. So we make the daisy, like we did. We make the white cross. We do... F2L. Now, this is the part. We're at OLL. And now, we realized, wait a minute. This is not a 3x3 three three OLL case. This is a 4x4 four four parity. So here, we see, we need to swap this edge around. Because then we will have a bar. And that is an OLL 3x3 an OLL three three case. That's the bar. So here, we face the edge we want to swap at the front. And we do these moves. That swap this edge without touching anything on the cube. So now this is I know uh, a three by three OLL case. We do the case. We carry on doing three by three. And then suddenly we realized, what's this? This is definitely not a 3x3 three three case. It only needs to swap two edges with the rest of the cube completely solved. This is another 4x4 four four parity. This is the PLL parity. So here, we're going to have two PLL parities. This is the first one. This is where you have two edges that need to be swapped. So you hold them like this. So don't... Hold the cube like this, where the edges are like this. Don't hold it like this. Just hold the cube that one edge is here and one edge is here. Then, if you do this algorithm, you'll realize Oh, now we got an OLL case. So we can just do the OLL case. 
but you can get this case. That's there are two sides that are right opposite each other, so that these edges need to swap instead of these. Now, if you do the exact same algorithm that we did a few seconds ago, instead of getting an OLO 3x3 case, that will just solve the whole cube. Now, if you've mastered this method now, and you want to get some faster method, I recommend the Yao method. That is the method that all very fast speech cubers use.